Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about the having clause. The having clause is going to restrict the subsets of the result set that we are going to uh, get or we are going to retrieve from the database using the group by clause. So it works in the same way as the where clause, but, that, but this restricts or constrains um, the result set, the sub result set for whenever we use the group by. So a, a better way of actually explaining this is just through an example. So we are going to say select and uh, I'm going to say from, let's grab our locations, L and I'm going to provide it um, group by. So group by why do we want to group it by? So we want to group it by uh, the country ID. So country ID, perfect. Having, so let me spell it correctly, having, and this is like providing a condition. So we want to group it by country ID, but we only want to get, because this restricts the result set, we only want to get the country where the rows, where the country ID is US. And keep in mind there is going to be one row per result set so when we say us we are only going to get one row so i'm going to say l dot country id is equal to us let's put in the semicolon so we are going to say count l dot country id country underscore id and we can get the country ID as well, country ID L dot. So let's save this and let's run it. There we go. We only got US. Why? Let me go over the syntax one more time. So we know all the way up until here. And if we remove this part, we know that we are going to get four different rows because there are four different groups within this country ID for this locations table. But what if you just want to grab one specific, specific group? Then you need to provide a condition. That condition will be implemented by the having clause. So what is that condition? There are four groups we know from our previous lecture. The first group is US, then we have Canada, then we have US, and then we have Germany. Now, what you want to do is you just want to grab the US uh, group. And that group is going to be a subset of the result set, which, is, uh, which only has one row. And that's why US only has one row. Now, you can change this to UK as well. So I'm just going to copy that. I can put it down here. I'm going to say 47. For example, you want to grab UK, save it, let's run it. So the first result is going to be US. The result number three is going to be UK. Uh, you can also grab any other one from here that you want. But now let's think about this. Let's say you want to grab the country IDs that have been repeated more than once. Let's take a look at our table. So which country IDs have been repeated more than once? It's clearly UK and USA, US, because th this has been repeated twice, sorry, three times and twice for UK. So we should only get US and UK. Now we are going to say having, we are going to pass count, so count it, L dot country ID is greater than one. Let's close this. Let's let me comment this part out. And this is example 48. Comment this part out as well. And uh, hmm, all right, let's run this. There we go. So these are the country IDs which have been repeated more than once. And you can use, of course, the count set function with the having as well. Now, this can be rewritten in another way as well. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say example number 49. Let's comment out 48. And I'm going to say, now we are going to say that we want to grab the country ID. We want to count it. We also want to, uh, we want to show, we want to 
uh, show two tables which are extracted from the from the two columns which are extracted from the locations table so from here group group them by country ID having the country ID which is uh, greater than uh, let's say u equal to 2 or greater than 2 so first off I'm gonna implement that so I'm gonna say which is equal to 2 or greater than 2 but how can we rearrange this one so if I were to grab um, now the way that I'm going to explain this to you uh, I'm going to try to explain it in the simplest way possible uh, whenever you're writing a set function here it is a column so technically it represents a column from the from any specific table of our of our DB that we're working with so when you have a column you can alias that column as well so we have just been aliasing uh, table names but we can alias column names as well so this count essentially it returns a column name a column right it represents a column so we can alias that the way that we can alias it we, we are going to say as country I'm just going to say ID so now this country ID represents this count so we can just copy that and put it right here so this is going to be the second approach again you can alias column names as well and technically even though this is a function it, it extracts a column so it represents a column if it wasn't a column we wouldn't have passed it with the select clause now would we so let's run this there we go so us three times uk two times that's it for this lecture see you in the next one